Welcome in the makeup group here, Manuel. I'm 43 years old, mom of two girls who likes to play with makeup and makeup is her therapy. And on my channel, like you can see, I have 30 makeups when I try to play around the colors and um, sometimes I do collaboration just like today. I'm very happy to play um, with the Keep It Real Fun uh, group and we have monthly collaboration and um, Today's theme is um, Vidash Hollywood and uh, please check how beautiful are my friends and what a great looks they did. I will link all the channels down below in my description box. So um, watch me please and watch my friends. <laughs> and I will just prime my eyes, do the little bit of magic with my brow and I'll come to play with colors. They are gorgeous, right? I know. <laughs> I can't wait to watch their videos too. And uh, for my um, little investigation, I found out that the looks which the Hollywood um, showed us in, in this glory times, uh, like 60s, 50s, um, I think it was most, uh, mostly um, quite dewy face and um, shadows was like grayish something blue a little bit blue gray and ne neutral colors and the lips rusty lips that's what i kind of have a vision and with that trend i will select from my collection the palette which really i'm not reading much but last time i used it and i remind myself that i have it it's a nude by beauty bay and uh, it's a 42 very big palette full of browns and also some sh little shimmers goodies are there and the grays and i think that around this grays i will focus on my look with browns i'll combine that and i also want to tiny little bit use one shade from this um bff uh, palette by bh cosmetics I want to use the shade, this shade here, shade called Malibu. So um, let's start it. I prime my eyes with P. Louise Base in Rumor 02, and uh, my brow are fitted with Beauty Bay Micro Liner shade Espresso. So I'm taking some, just selecting some brush quickly. I have some new organization with my brushes, so let's hope that it will help bring some change. So it's a little bit flat, um, blending brush. And I will start with some uh, not that deep shade. My goodness, it's really overwhelming that palette for me. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll take this one. Do I see what is the name? I'm um, vanilla latte, I guess. I hope so. So it's like a little bit yellow undertone, and I'll try to put that to crease a little bit above. Just a little bit of color, not too much. It's very quite invisible for me. And kind of setting this upper part. following this bone kind of line a little bit above the crease creating that new one better <laughs> with the hooded eyes is always a little bit funny you want to show the eyeshadow you need to play above because everything is hidden by hood but you can play around so that's good we know how to do it or we guessing how to do it learning how to do it and that's all fun about and um, i will take this shadow here and 
Sean shade or something like that. And I will do kind of round outer corner but with the round moves. It has kind of a mm, little bit purple undertone this grey shade. Palette is really not comfortable to hold. No, I'm not that good with big palettes as with the time I feel like that 20 20 shade palette is something which I really enjoy easier to hold so I'm like stamping and then making this round moves to diffuse Who's your favorite, like from these old movies, your favorite um, iconic star? I'm wondering who. Um, as a photography, I really uh, I think that Marilyn Monroe has the best kind of photography journey. She, she really knew how to pose. I love this pose from out. How oh, she's. Uh, this, is so, this is so pretty. I'm always trying to make it like that, but more or less, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> mm, yes. So in that point, I want to grab this the other shape which I showed you in the Malibu. The same brush because I want just a smidge of this, this shape. It's a very pretty blue. to just add a little bit to the gray more from the edge kind of side back to the gray gray So this is upper part and I will do some shimmer like a natural neutral um, champagne shade. I will use this one and I will use my pinky to apply it. This in the center. I don't know that it will be super blind, just kind of showing the, the droughtiness of the eye. And the next step it will be lower lash line. And uh, we need to do liner. So, I'm trying to take tissue, get uh, my shimmer away, and uh, brush, another brush. I will show you what I have. I got it from Timo. It's like my brush holder. <laughs> so it's supposed to help me to find out my brush. And maybe it really does. But I'm really in, in making decisions. It's not my strong side. <laughs> if, yeah, if I can say it like this. So, um, this is the brush from Attitude Cosmetics, like, mm, and I will get some brown, brown shade. 
I'll get this right here. And I'll do lower lash line. I hope that you can see this. So I'm doing a kind of straight line, a little bit longer than this line uh, of my natural eye and not, I'm not putting it up. Okay. Seems that this is alright. I have a uh, like round brush clean. And I a little bit smooth this. Okay, that color looks now a little bit crazy, so I will go back to this, um, I'll take a little bit of this brown, and I'll kind of close this area here. It will be looking a little bit like contour through my nose, but also it will kind of balance that colors all right and now we need to do the lion lion the line uh, I will use the the liner from melt splurge liner simply Not great with liners yet. Let's try. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a lot of product. Get that I sell it. So this is my eye and I will try to make another set and um, I will do my complexion to not hold you too long and you'll see my how it look. So please stay with me and I'm just showing you in the better face. So this is my final look with this inspiration from great Hollywood. I hope that you enjoy my video I will, uh, and that you like my look and it's a little bit that Hollywood remind. Um, what I was using to finish my uh, look I used a um, um, eraser concealer by um, Maybelline 
um, in the shade sand and then I use uh, Studio Fix together with uh, um, Glam Shop um, Radiant um, foundation. I used uh, Glam Shop bronzer and Glam Shop uh, blush in cream and uh, I used a little bit um, Natasha Denonaci um, Rose Cheeks um, Duo for highlight and for um, blush as well <laughs> and then I used uh, Max Factor powder because Max Factor in Hollywood that's yeah that's that's why we have Max Factor in general and uh, this uh, limited edition Nabla lippy because it's a it's just a perfect color from that time I think like yeah I hope that you enjoy it I hope that you consider subscribe my channel if you didn't yet and that you uh, enjoy the um, looks of my friends please visit them say hi from me and uh, you know I hope that I will see you in the next month with our next collab I promise it will be interesting have a good day take care of yourself you first just like in plain and then you can share your love and all of goodies on your condition with others see you later bye